So I think it's interesting. I, I think that it's an oversimplification saying that, the way the, way the, in, the results can be interpreted. I think what it said is, is that if you're taking antiretrovirals, you have a 94% likelihood of not acquiring HIV, and there are very few people that actually were taking antiretrovirals that, that did acquire HIV in, in those serodiscordant relationships. I think that it's important for us to look at studies like that, and I think it's really important for us to understand there's a few things that are involved with antiretrovirals. One is, is are you taking the antiretrovirals as you're supposed to be taking them? The second thing is, is have you skipped doses and are you resistant? And that's another thing that's important. The study found is that you can be taking your medication but be resistant to the medication and still transmit HIV. I think it's also really important for us to understand when you take your antiretroviral medication, are you, um, is your, if you're the partner of the person who's taking antiretroviral medication, you can trust your partner is taking their medication, and that's that one piece that you can do, is, is you can trust your partner's taking the medication the way they're supposed to. But what I'm still an advocate of is, is that if you're that partner of that serodiscordant person, uh, you're, the, you're the partner of the HIV positive individual, there's stuff that you can do to prevent HIV prevention for yourself as well. And taking PrEP or medication once a day is one of those things that you can do. And that takes the responsibility of, of the HIV prevention away from just your partner, who definitely needs to be taking their antiretrovirals, and that's important for his health or her health and your health. But you as the partner of that individual can also take matters into your own hands and do things for HIV prevention, like use condoms and take PrEP yourself.